What's up everybody, welcome to uh, Dual Sport Jeff. Uh, today we're going to be doing a mod video about my 2002 Yamaha XT225. This was a request video I got from Instagram from uh, Jimmy Timoto who happens to ride a XT as well. So uh, let's get it started. One of the first mods I did wasn't really actually, well it's a mod and uh, a maintenance item. When I bought this bike it had a bad fuel tank in it. And if you know anything about trying to find a new metal one it's pretty much impossible and the ones that you find that are in good shape are actually more. So I actually bought this Clark tank. It's an oversized 4.1 gallons. Um, I can go almost over 200 miles on it. So it's a pretty decent mod really. Uh, we'll go right into the next mod which is on the tank and that's the giant loop uh, buck and roll. It's the older style one so it wraps around both sides of the tank kind of like saddlebags for it. It's really the way the tank designs are on these uh, um, fuel tanks on these. They're, you really can't put a top mount over the cap. It's really kind of difficult but this one seems like it works pretty good. I like the, the style. It doesn't get in the way of my legs. So, um, I, it's a good uh, good little mod. I'm kind of glad I found it. So the next up on the list is the hand guards. I got these uh, this cheap little Amazon hand guards. I haven't laid the bike over since, so I can't really give you any kind of review on whether they hold up from falling or not. I just want to save the levers and stuff when I go up there. Um, down in the bottom right, there's a Tusk uh, fender bag. Um, that keeps pretty much all my tools and, uh, you know, whatnots in it and uh, stuff to do tires and everything. Uh, and then that windscreen that you can kind of see on there. You can kind of see the windscreen there. Let's see if I can move it up a little bit. Yeah, see the windscreen there. Uh, that's a built, I built that myself. Um, eh, it's alright. I mean, with a bike like this, there's really <laughs> no way to avoid the wind. So I thought maybe it might stop some of it, but I haven't ridden it in the rain. Maybe that would help in the rain. So, uh, yeah. Didn't want to spend the money on one, so five, ten bucks for a piece of uh, Lexan at Home Depot and a heat gun. Works pretty good. And right here, I mean, you can kind of see the carburetor. We got, uh, I rejetted it. So, uh, it actually, right now, I mean, it's, if you want to see this thing, I got it jetted and tuned up good enough. You can see my hand, my hand on that. That's the exhaust pipe. I'll start it. Yeah, I think it's tuned up pretty good. And we also have a uni air filter in there too, so. And here's one of the reasons why I made this video, um, because we, uh, you can see the red spring in there. I got the uh, Cogent Dynamics uh, MODOK spring, the complete assembly. Um, that spring, and um, it's the, uh, 8.1 kilograms per millimeter spring, so I got the heaviest one they got because I'm a pretty big dude. So um, it's night and day difference. I mean, serious night and day difference. I I thought it was a hoax, <laughs> to be honest, like a waste of money. It is not a waste of money at all. Um, so if you're really thinking about putting one of those on and you're on the fence because of how much it is, it is expensive. But do it if you can. Just do it. Then for the front, um, the front's completely redone as well. I uh, I put in um, oh, what was it? It's Race Tech springs. So I put in Race Tech springs because they were the heavier ones. They're 0 .48 kilograms per millimeter springs, the heaviest ones I could find. Um, so they have a spacer in there, and you kind of cut that spacer. And I made the spacer preload a little. Uh, it's about a quarter inch higher than it was before. Um, and then I also, in the bottom of the springs, I put in the Cogent Dynamics drop-in cartridges. And it's, 
I'm serious, night and day. And what it is, I will show you. I got a video of before and after. They're not identical in the same area, but uh, before and after video of the difference. And I'm a big dude. I'm over 300 pounds. So on this bike, you'll be able to tell. So uh, watch this. And for tires, I'm running the Dunlop D605s. Um, so far, pretty good. The safe's 50-50 tire, I'd, I'd say that's pretty good. I haven't really taken it in any mud or anything, but on road and the gravel, you know, even the big gravel and stuff, I haven't found that it's been, you know, real bad or anything. Uh, not much vibration, but a little bit. This is the uh, rear rack that I got on here. Um, it was on it when I bought the bike. Uh, I don't know what brand it is, but maybe somebody else knows what brand it is, but it works great. Uh, it's a really handy thing to have. And uh, the other thing too is I got um, foot pegs. These are just the eBay, Sleeves Bay Chinese specials. Um, I just made them fit. They're like from a Yamaha dirt bike or something. I don't remember what it was. It's a year ago. I can't remember yesterday sometimes, but that uh, they work great, hold me up, and no complaints there. Not much here. This is the uh, cockpit view, if you want to call it that. Uh, we got the uh, the pro taper pillow tops. Um, well, they're not bad. I, I don't mind them. These uh, gigantic mirrors they're gonna get. It's one of the next mods. I want to do double take mirrors on it. Um, yeah. This over here is the controller for my uh, my camera for my helmet. Brand new, so you haven't seen a video with that yet. So hopefully you'll be coming out with one of those soon. Phone phone holder, but it just holds it. Nothing crazy. Sitting at mileage and sitting at 8,115 miles as we speak. Got it with about 6,800. So you know, put over a thousand miles on it. Uh, so it's quite a bit for one of these things actually not really you can go for a long ways it's just once you ride one for a while without doing seat modifications I don't know how anybody got 8,000 miles on one of these things speaking of seats yeah that's uh, another mod that I want to do the seat concepts um, I'd like to do that this seat <laughs> it really sucks uh, I've also thought about doing you know a pad over the top of it or whatever but you know I, I just assume I have the right seat and you know I'll just save the money and deal with it for now but um, yeah that's kind of the future mods the other thing I want to do is put some saddlebags I'm thinking about the Mojave so I might go down that road with the giant loop Mojave so uh, other than that it's not a whole lot left to really do on this bike so um, well, I think that's it for this video um, thanks for watching um, if there was something else you saw in there that maybe I forgot but I'm pretty sure I got everything but if you have any questions feel free to let me know uh, I plan on uh, I got some more videos uh, planned once I get those saddlebags to do some moto camping I got a pretty good setup for that already that can fit in pretty small bags so uh, just uh, if you have something you think you might want to see let me know uh, I will uh, I'll see if I can't make that happen. And uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram. Uh, you can also come over. We're on a Discord for Dual Sports uh, Dork in the Road Discord. Uh, come over. Pretty pretty cool. There's a lot of knowledgeable people about dual sports stuff over there. And, you know some shenanigans and as well too. So um, so on that note. Uh, Thanks for watching, and uh, don't forget to uh, be kind to one another and love your neighbor like you love yourself. This world will be a lot better place. See ya.